And you will become very good at finding their side lengths. So the first one you're going to talk about is the 45, 45, 90. Um, what do you know about a 45, 45, 90 triangle? Okay. The triangle. It has a right angle. That's a little funny. Yes, it's isosceles, right? So since it's a right triangle, you could use the bag right there with two of your side legs, right? But today, if you just know one, you'll be able to find the missing ones, okay? So, we're going to call our leg X. Just some number, okay? So, if this leg is X, then this guy over here would also be X, right? Because they're the same. And then our hypotenuse. Two. So you just take whatever your side length is and multiply it by the square root of 2. So now you can use these two little formulas, even though they're not really formulas, to find the side lengths of this given one. Okay. So let's try an example. So when you do these problems, guys, you first just need to decide, am I given a leg or an hypotenuse? So on this first example here is eight, the leg or hypotenuse? <laughs> leg. Okay. How can I find x? It's eight. just eight. Yeah, it's just eight. Right? These have to be the same. It's a 45, 45, 90. And how do we say we can find our hypotenuse? <laughs> Right. But we're going to leave everything in terms of radicals today, guys. So just 8, root 2. That's the end? That's it. That's all we're doing. So oh, do you guys, nice. is there any situation where we can simplify it further? Yes, we'll get to those. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you do have to simplify if you can simplify. Great question. Okay, on this guy, 25, leg or hypotenuse? Leg. Leg. So what's y? 25. 25. And what is x? 25. Uh, 25 root <laughs> yep. 2. Remember, just take our leg times the square root of 2. Okay, this time, it's a little different because what leg am I given? The hypotenuse. So we have to work backwards. <laughs> so we said our hypotenuse was our leg times the square root of 2. Yeah. So instead of writing hypotenuse right here, what can I write? 19. 19. So that's what it equals. So I'm going to put 19 equals x root 2. Okay. And now my goal is to find x because that would be my two legs. So, yeah, so, so first I have to divide everything by the square root of 2. Okay. So what's nice about this, those cancel. But remember, I can't have a radical in the denominator. That's a big no. My piece can't do it. So who has an idea of how we're going to get rid of it? Not square it. If I had would you flip? five over two x, how could I get rid of this two down here? Multiply, multiply by what? Two. By two. So why can't I multiply this by square root of two? But then you have to do it to the other side and go back where you started. Well, you do it to the top and to the bottom. So it's like a special version of one. That's what we're doing. But you, know, you still have to do that. No, exactly. You're multiplying by one. This is just one. I'm just trying to get rid of this down here. Just, just let's see it. I'm just simplifying this. I'm because what's square root two over two? One. one. So I'm just multiplying by special <coughs> version of one right now. Okay. Okay. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to multiply across. I'm going to get 19 root two. 
What's square root of 2 times the square root of 2? 1. Nope. Two square one. root of 4, four which is 2. two. I know there's not another example, so let's just draw one in so we can practice that again. So somewhere in your notebook, let's do another one. Like that one. That one. Yep, that's your answer. Let's say you have 20 as your hypotenuse. 20. And we got to find our legs. So remember your hypotenuse equals... What is our hypotenuse equal? X squared 2. That's our formula. Instead of writing hypotenuse, what can I write? 20. How many get X alone? Divided all by Yes. All these things are going to extend the page button, right? So those are going to cancel. But remember, I can't have a square root in the denominator, so what do I multiply by? So I'm going to get 20, what? Square root of 2 over 2. Can I simplify that one anymore? Yes. Yes. What do we get? 10. 10 root 2. No, you don't need to do the work to okay. get it. If you see the pattern, go for it. I'm just showing my work so people can see the pattern. Because all these problems are the exact same with a different number. That makes sense? So you only you would only actually divide it by 2 if it worked. If it, like if it worked like a number. If it was an even number, yeah. And so dividing by two doesn't really affect the number. Of nope, part. just the number up front. Right. Okay. And okay. you could have divided this one by two, but what would you have had? What's nice to divide by two? It would have been a decimal. Yeah. It was like, that would have been nine point five five. Yeah. Okay. So that's the gist of forty five, forty five, ninety. Let's switch gears and do thirty, sixty, ninety. So obviously, in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we're going to have a hypotenuse, right? And that's the side across from your right angle. Okay? So that one's taken care of. But then it says a long leg and a short leg. Where would my short leg have to be? By the bottom, Tristan. Always it's always opposite the 30 degrees. You should label this on your picture for me, folks. But you're right. And then your long leg is across from the 60. Okay, now how this one works, I'm running out of room, so I'll redraw it right here. 30, 60. Your short leg is our x. That's where we base everything off of x. Okay. Your hypotenuse is twice your short leg. It's just two times whatever your short leg is. So two x. And your longer leg, not three x. So that would be longer than your hypotenuse. Two x. Nope. <laughs> 1.5x. X, you're not going to like this. X, root 3. Ah. Oh, no. oh, I know. Right? We'll get better at them, though. Who came up with this stuff? You'll like these. Instead of having your Pythagorean theorem, you'll just see the pattern and know what it is. Does everyone have these down so we can try some examples? Okay. So step one, we have to decide what leg are we given? What's five? Short. Okay, let's find x first. What leg is x? Longer. 
long leg. And I know my long is your short time square root three. So five root three, perfect. Really like that. That's it. And then how would you find y? Five times two, which is ten. That's it. Okay, 14, what leg is it? Short. So how can I find x? How'd you get 28 coli? And what's y? 14. 14. Yes. Do we understand this? It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. We gotta do a few more together. Okay. What about this guy? What's 32? Hypotenuse. How? So when you're not okay. When you're given anything but your short leg. Your goal is to first find your short leg. So that's why everything's based on. So if I'm given my hypotenuse is 32, how can I find my short? Divide by two. Oh, wonderful. 16. Yes. And then how do we find our long? 16. It's that easy. Okay. What's that? Nope, that's it. We're done. No. Okay, now things are a little more interesting. What's 20? The long, the long right? The ugly one. So I have to find our short leg. So how am I going to get x alone here? We have to divide by root 3. Divide by root 3. Oh, you knew what I was going to say. So how am I going to get rid of that? Times one. Not one. Times radical three out of one. Radical three over one. Yeah. 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 It is a fancy version of one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause that, look, it's not going to be two down here. It's going to be less. Let's see. What's 20 times root three? 20 root three. And square root three times square root three? No, square root of nine, nine which is? Three. Uh, Okay. So that's our answer. Ick. So that's our short leg. So twenty root three over three. So that's my short. How are we gonna find our hypotenuse? Multiply this whole thing by two. Just take the twenty times two. 40. 40 root 3 over 3. What's the next one? I think we know these. What's that? Are you able to do this? This is Should we try another one like that one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just wait for this guy. Um, let's say Okay, you guys take a second and find X and Y on that blue triangle I just made up. So it's just like the last one we did, I just want you to practice it on your own. Like write it, I don't know, somewhere in your notebook.
So for the um, you guys are the top one for the forty five forty five ninety. Everything always ends up over two. Right? Yeah. And then for this one, everything always ends up over three. So did you guys get seven or three over three for your shirt? Yeah. And then your hypotenuse, 14 or 3 over 3? Thumbs up. Yes. Uh, okay, let's do this one. What leg are we given? The long leg. How am I going to get X alone? Oh, what's nice about this one? It all cancels. So what's my short leg? Nine. What's Y? Eighteen. Yes. Can't you just say that like since it's X equals three right there? Oh yeah. If you don't need to write this out, don't. I'm just showing it so people who don't see that can see it. But I hope that you see the pattern. You don't have to write it out. No. All right, if we can do this, I think we're golden. So I have two special right triangles morphed together. Oh, yeah. Where do I need to start? Gabe says this is 32 right here. Is he right? Yes. Okay. What would X be? Uh, 32. 32 root 2, because it's the hypotenuse. Okay. Now where should, where should we go? C. C would be 16. Yep. Good job, guys. That's wonderful. Y is 16 root 3. Great job. Y is 16 root 3. 